Thank you, Dean Deloria. Ladies and gentlemen, mom, dad, <laughs> class of 2012. I stand before you a convert. Now, just four years ago, I was walking across another stage, somewhat smaller than this one. I graduated high school with just 62 classmates, many of whom I had known since kindergarten. And I entered the University of Michigan, flipping the page, I should note, with considerable skepticism. Michigan, over 40,000 undergraduates, over 6,000 faculty, lecture halls that seat 500, and stadiums that seat 114,801. <laughs> it goes without saying, so naturally I'll say it, Michigan is unsettling. Now, I may not have shared classes, clubs, or even company with most of you, but I think I may have unearthed one of the few virtually universal experiences of this diverse university. Our first days on campus. Now, they go a little something like this. What is Michigan time? Where is North Campus? Why can't I understand my GSI? <laughs> Who's that man playing the washboard in the ugly? And just how am I expected to do all of this work by Wednesday? Yes, Michigan is unsettling. But that unsettled feeling, I would soon learn, is actually part of what makes us special. Now get this, Michigan has, has the foremost elite academic instruction across countless disciplines. I'm told the US News World Report has recently ranked us number 14th in the world. But listen, that's not what makes us special. Okay, Michigan has title winning athletics, finally. Sugar Bowl champions, Coach Hoke and Team 132. Big Ten co-champions, Coach Beeline and the Michigan basketball team. But that's not what makes us special. Michigan has scores of researchers doing cutting edge work every day in world-renowned facilities. And even that's not what makes us special. But rather, in this place where resources abound in just about anything is available. In this place where faculty and staff assume contagious passions that they want to tell you all about. In this place where unqualified 18 to 20 somethings reign supreme, excuse me, supreme. <laughs> we have learned. We have learned to approach the new and the daunting and the ever formidable with confidence. We are capable. And now, after four years of Michigan, we know we are capable. Now, by the power invested in me by this very large podium, <laughs> I hereby grant all of you to forget everything you've ever studied for. Uncram all of that knowledge because exam season is finally over. And the University of Michigan has a more important lesson, the most important lesson.
And thankfully, this one doesn't cost $90 at Ulrich's. More than anything else, this is a lesson you must never forget. Never forget that unsettled feeling from our first days here. Never forget the boldness with which we registered for that random class we knew nothing about. Never forget the confidence with which we made friends and made plans out of necessity. Never forget the confidence with which we accomplished more here by day and by night than anyone ever dreamed possible. And as we say goodbye here and throw our caps in the air, we can celebrate. Celebrate that unsettled feeling. Celebrate Michigan for instilling in us the confidence to thrive in everything we choose to do. And celebrate how truly great it is to be a Michigan Wolverine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't tell already, I stand before you a convert. 